So, we move on to the Carabao Cup and tomorrow night, Tuesday night, we have got Norwich City at the Emirates. Um, now, last time we played in this competition, we got Doncaster. Um, Giroud nearly smashed the bar in half with what would have been one of the goals of the season. Um, and we scraped to a narrow victory in that game. Now, Norwich City have sold out, from what I hear, an allocation of 9,500, which is unbelievable. So, fair play to Norwich. Um, they're going to bring a lot of noise and a lot of colour with their bright yellow shirts. I'm really looking forward to this game. It's an opportunity to see some of the youngsters again um, and a chance to mix it up. And to be honest, in the games this season that the kids have played and the reserves have played, they've actually done all right. So with that being said, I'm going to get into my 1-11. to I am going with Macy in goal, um, pure and simply because Peter Cech is our first team goalkeeper and David Ospina is apparently injured. So Macy gets the nod. Um, right back, I am going with Matthew Debucci. Um, I thought he actually done really well the other night when he played. So yes, I have mugged him off a million times on here, but I might just eat my words with this one. Who knows? <laughs> Can't believe I just said that. Um, on the left-hand side at the left-back position, um, another one that's actually, he's done really well in this position. Um, not his biggest fan of being played at left back or left wing back, but I am actually going for a back four. And I am going with Ainsley Maitland-Niles at left back. Um, I don't think he'll play Kolasinac and I don't think he'll play Monreal there, um, which leaves only Maitland-Niles because we loaned out Con Connor Bramall, uh, Cohen Bramall even. I don't know who Connor is, maybe that's his brother. Um, but yes, so I'm going with him at left back. Centre backs, I am going with Per Mertesacker and Rob Holding. Um, yes, I know Murta Saka played yesterday, but with it being Norwich, um, obviously it's not a massive club in terms of pressure. They're not going to have a lot of the ball. Um, we should dominate possession, so I think it should be an easier game than it would be, say, a Premier League team. Um, now, that's not to mug Norwich off because they're actually doing all right. They're actually in the playoff positions at the minute in their league, and they've just come off of the back of beating their local rivals, Ipswich, at the weekend, 1-0. So they'll be fully up for it. Um, moving on, into midfield, I am going with Jack Wilshere. Um, I thought he was fantastic again in midweek and again yesterday when he come on. It just gives us something different. He he makes things happen and gets the, gets the ball ticking over. And it's always a forward movement with Jack. So, yeah, I'm really pr impressed that he's back. And um, hopefully it continues. Um, like I said, Elneny next to him. I think Elneny was played at centre-back in um, Serbia the other night. Don't want to ever see him at centre-back again. He looked an absolute liability there. But in centre midfield, I think he's an alright player. Um, so as you can see, I've gone for four at the back. I've gone with two in front of them. I'm now going with three. Um, that three is a Wobi. Reese Nelson at Cam, attacking midfield, central attacking midfield, whatever you want to call it. And then Theo Walcott. Um, Reese Nelson's not had an opportunity yet in the first team to play his proper position. I'm hoping that this is the first time we see him in his rightful position. And hopefully he'll impress. Um, he's been alright in the games that I've seen him. But I don't want to see him going backwards. I want to see him going forwards because he was banging in goals for fun. Um, for the youth team, so that's where I want to see him. Iwobi, I thought he was arguably our best player. I've said that in previous videos against Watford. Um, it wasn't difficult, they were all shit. But he's, um, he's doing all right this season. And Theo Walcott, again, he scored a few goals this season. Hasn't really impressed me this season, but he's still capable of scoring goals. Now, I'm going with Giroud up top. Um, I think Giroud is going to be used more in these cups. And it'd be nice if he could get a couple of goals, boost his confidence up, and then when we play Swansea at the weekend, maybe he'll get an opportunity to play with Lacazette. Who knows? Um, so that's my 1-11 to for the game. Stick your comments down there. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you'd do differently, what your 1-11s to will be. 
absolutely smash the fuck out of the like button. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Um, also, appreciate all the love on the previous videos. And uh, keep your eyes peeled for my review of the game, which will be directly after the game tomorrow night. Anyway, I'm out of here, peeps. Laters. Thank you.